Yo guys, I was just by EVI featured on his podcast. Yeah, and yeah. I would need you guys to go and check it out. This is the goat. Guys, he's the goat, man. You know how he is. He's taking care of the kids. He's making sure everyone is not being scammed. So shout out to him. The episode was quite interesting. I'm a bit afraid though. I feel like people are up to my house like, hey, why are you sitting there on the podcast? You know what I mean? But obviously, we're going to blow out the name. We're going to keep it quite nice, quite simple. But you guys obviously know who he's speaking about, I'm assuming. If you guys are locked into him, you'll know what he does. Oh, yeah. Shout out to looking after the community, bro. 100%. Because I feel like, you know, my, 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 my girlfriend, huh? Like she has a lot of family members, like younger family members. Mm-hmm. They all be mm-hmm. like, they all like, drop. Mm-hmm. I want to drop out of school before it's three. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if they watch this episode, they'll understand it's not just a easy watch. People can wait. They're gonna step in and they're gonna be like, whoosh. I'm be a forex trader. I'm Mercedes Benz, same day. You know what I mean? And, and a lot of a lot of a lot of these YouTubers are pushing um like forex trading now. I feel like the big YouTubers are going into that space and stuff. But I see some of them don't even own the cars. That, nope. they, that they're giving away nope. to people and stuff. So nope. just, just, just be safe, guys, man. Because obviously these are people that you guys look to for inspiration, for influence, and some of them are not actually like even only things that they have. I feel like just, just trust your parents, bro. Don't look for influ- in, in, information online, bro. Just trust hey. your parents and trust their judgment. You and know what I say, even sorry, 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 sorry for watching. Uh-huh. I always tell people this: Have you ever said like I've heard you for there's a doctor? Really? I watch your channel, man. <laughs> I watch your channel. So, have you ever seen your father sit with his brothers or his friends and they all like boop, he's made by slip. How much did you slap this month? How much did you slap that month? And now they gain respect from one another like that. Nah, nah. never seen that. I now feel like see. the biggest respect a man can get is from keeping those type of things private. Exactly. You know now, I mean? that is what forex traders do to get the men to do them. The right. exact same, because what they was flashing their money, they was basically showing their pay. Yeah. True. True. Wow. I mean, I mean, your father don't come and say, look at my big stacks of cash. Um, I sort you out as a doctor. I can look after your heart. Yes. You would rather be like in private, okay? There's no demands of what I take a sort of. Uh-huh. See, or rather, because um, patient doctor confidentiality would rather be like, these are the procedures that I've done. Yeah. Definitely. This is how successful I am. Uh-huh. But you wouldn't obviously expose it. And be flashy, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now you see, that is the thing that the forex trading thing comes out of because if you look at it like this, um, forex trading, doctor, let me say it like this. If your father started so hard to become a doctor, mm. what gives me the impression that in two, three months time, I will earn the same kind of salary? Exactly. Exactly. You see, my bro. Yeah, that is actually the best way to explain like forex trading and stuff. And that is that is where people miss it. They want that doctor salaries, that lawyer salaries, without putting in the work. For people want people. everything like immediately, bro. That's a problem. Bro. I feel like people want instant gratification. Guys, I used to put out YouTube videos for like two years without getting paid from it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Luckily, I just finished school, so my parents weren't really putting me on me under pressure to like make money however like i feel like if i was born like into a different family where say friends i know a lot of people like are born into families where when they finish a school they can't go study they must go work yeah, straight straight because straight, their yeah. family's not earning enough money so if i was in that situation i would never be able to do my career do you know what i mean i would have to go work straight bro and that's just moving that just shows like people like like things are not easy man things don't come easy you have to like grind for years and luckily for me i was able to grind for those two years not making money and not have any pressure on me and now I, I'm making I'm not even making like I wouldn't even consider like I'm not I'm not even rich you know what I mean I'm still like mm. coming up slowly wanted, but surely I wanted to ask you this one bro after uh-huh. all of this time and the work that you put in because obviously um, podcast wise and so the way you do things that is also where I'm trying to go to but I wanted to ask you all of that hard work my bro and 
finally getting that recognition. How does it feel? Do you know what it is? I, I I feel like I've got I've got a lot of recognition. However, I still I still don't feel like I feel like people people don't I, I don't want to sound like really like cocky, but I feel like people don't appreciate the work you do enough, man. I feel like in this industry, I feel like people don't realize how hard it is. They think like influencers just go online. I mean, I would I would regard myself as an influencer. I regard myself as a content creator, but they put me in the same box. And I feel like people just think that we just come online and we just post stuff. We just post. It's a lot of bro. It took me four hours to edit the video. It takes me sometimes even longer than that it takes me time i have to come to the studio i have to sit on the hour with this guy and talk about forex trading do you think i want to talk about forex trading all day guys do you know what i mean so like it takes a lot of hard work that people don't see it took a lot of research for me be behind the scenes before i even got here to learn about him to learn about the industry to learn about the things he's done so people might look at it and think like nah he might post videos mm -hmm. they don't say the work they don't do say the work do you know what i mean so i feel like we are underappreciated a bit within the industry that i'm in um, and i feel like there's very few content creators in cape town i don't think anyone puts up as much content as a whole as me because uh, I post Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of that. Hey, and it gets tough, bro, because I feel like recently I've had creators block and I've not been doing that great in terms of content. But, you know, we trust God, we pray up, and hopefully mm. the content and the ideas keep coming, mm. bro. You know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, that's me. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. And check out the podcast, no? Push up that numbers. And when you, when, if you know what I'm talking about there, no? Do your thing in the comments, tell it most. Love. <laughs>Hey, some new merch, some new merch. Yo, a capitos? Nice of palette, man. Yo, a pa. Yo, it's acht up. It's all about trading. Oh, a t shirt, a t shirt. Oh, man, it looks cool. Premium golfer, don't play. Premium. This cannot be true. I've just received gifts from IFX like the other day. Uh, setting sale with IFX. Oh. Naikuai. 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 You got slaps, man. Which one must I use as a mouse pad? This one, guys. Or, or this one, I don't know. They both look so cool, man. Okay, okay, okay. We get this one out, and then we replace him with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see a shiny book, I see a shiny book. I see a shiny book. It's all about trading, because that's what we do. I see another shiny book, I see another shiny book. Sailor's Compass, how beautiful. Man, another book, but this is a notebook. Oh. Oh. This is a notebook. Yo, guys at IFX, thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate these gifts. They're almost definitely going to be put to good use. And this, obviously, will most definitely come and help when I release the Rider Learns to Trade series. We got a lot of things that we can move with. I most definitely, I just love the top man. This is, this is the thing that I love. I just love the top. So, thank you so much for this IFX. Guys, use the link in my description. You guys already know the deal. This, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly excited to use this, especially to log all of the trades and analysis and watch lists and stuff like that because I know I needed an extra book and this thing came right on time thank you so much IFX